yesterday to a certain extent in pretty good rhythm. Are, are you, do you think that's a byproduct of kind of how your summer went where you kind of had to do a lot of work later and do you feel like you've kind of hit this, I guess, the ground running to borrow a bad? Um, you know, I, I would like to think so, but preseason kind of has its ups and downs just like the, the regular season, just like the playoffs. So, um, you know, we still got a lot of work to do as far as getting our team rhythm down and personal rhythm for every guy, but I mean, the, the, our, our biggest focus tonight was like, come out and play hard, set the tone, you know, especially with our core group of guys. Like last night, you know, you can make excuses and say, you know, that was our first one and they played one and all that. They were at home, all that, but th that's not really what it came down to. It came down to us not really playing playing with the right energy. And I thought we did tonight, so that, that, that helps. That, that kind of gives you rhythm. That gives you a good feel. Mm -hmm. You and uh, Chris have staggered a little bit in these two games. That's something you guys have never really done mm -hmm. in your time here. Do, what do you like about those looks? Or maybe you with a couple bench guys or Chris with a couple bench guys. And how much you guys are so used to playing kind of in almost like a five-man unit. Yeah. Um, do you guys, do you have to adjust to that? Is that new yeah, for you? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, a lot of times you play with a guy like, like Chris. I mean, he makes the game so easy that, that um, sometimes you, you relax a little bit, maybe a little bit too much. So, um, you know, I think it's good as far as finding out different ways to have an uh, effect on the game and not being able to necessarily rely on just, you know, one guy, but really working that offense. You know, mm -hmm. even when Chris is out, we still have guys, Raymond and, and all these guys that are very capable ball handlers and, and um, can get us into our stuff. So it's really about trusting our, uh, trusting our sets and, and trusting our movement. What's, what's your take on this new facility? This new you know? I like it, man. It's nice. It's uh. I, you know, we, we heard about it all summer. We heard there was going to be changes, so to come in and, and finally see it is pretty nice, man. They, they, I think they definitely made the, you know, best out of what what we had or what, what the space we had to work with. A little disorienting walking. Yeah, it's a little weird. You know, my out. entire career here, it's been pretty much the same. Right. And, uh, you know, like I didn't know which locker was mine, so <laughs> I was like looking for my jersey and stuff. But, you know, it's cool. And uh, it kind of just shows, um, I think, Mr. Bomber and, and really our whole organization's uh, mindset when it comes to, to you know, being a uh, world class is kind of the term that, that we've used.